Psalm 103, a Psalm of David. Blessed, make happy, make happy. Bless the Lord, make the Lord happy. Make the Lord happy and you'll be happy. You know, that saying, you know, a happy wife is a happy life. Well, what if she drains your pocketbook? What if she drains your wallet? You won't be happy. The same. These people come up with these stupid sayings. Oh, cute, isn't it? You don't think about what you say. How about if you make God happy and he pleases you? Oh, my soul, that eternal part of me. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Not only my soul, my spirit, my body, my flesh, and who I am and what I am. Everything of me, body, soul, and spirit. Bless the Lord. Bless, again, his holy name. Jehovah, for David, the Lord God, the Almighty God, Jesus Christ. Memorial Day weekend. I want to thank the soldiers' names. That's not good enough. Listen, I thank you for your service, but you didn't do nothing for my soul. You didn't give us freedom. God did. And keep crediting the freedom of this country to sinning men and women, and God will say, I'll take it back. Thank you very much. You don't like my preaching, because it's the Bible. When Paul mentioned fellow soldiers, they were men and women that served the Lord and went on the battlefield with the gospel. You can lie about me. I'm not anti-military. I ain't anti-American. I'm a Bible-believing Christian bought and sold by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to preach the truth. And you won't be the first to hate me. And you won't be the first to get rid of me. Bless the Lord. Again, in case you didn't get it the first time. Oh, my soul. Verily, verily. And forget not. Forgetting is possible. Else it would not have been said by the Holy Spirit. Not all his God's benefit. That's an act of kindness to do good. I'm going to go for work for a job. What kind of benefits you offer me? What kind of benefits God offers you? Your benefits didn't come from your employer. It comes from God. And you better not forget it. Oh, I got health insurance. I won't because of because the company I work for. You got health insurance because of God's giving you health insurance. And you got good health because God has given you good health. Guess you forgot that, didn't you? Your paycheck is because God is giving you a paycheck. You're being taken care of because God's taking care of you. I guess you forgot that, didn't you? Memorial Day weekend. We, will, we won't be doing Psalms 104 as a family to Monday. That, that's Memorial Day. Who healeth all thy diseases. I just want to thank all the first responders with coronavirus. And I want to thank the people on the battle line. And I want to thank the president for doing that. And I want to thank the people for doing that. And I want to thank... What about God? I haven't heard one person thank God. I haven't asked, I haven't seen one person read, God, I want to thank you for your mercy and grace. My family are safe and well. And we're taken care of. It's only going to get worse because people are not repenting and turning to God. It's going to get worse. You need to read Jeremiah and you need to read Exodus. I know a Christian friend that is growing in the Lord and he's got something. But he's reading those books and he sees it.
if and when God decides to, to heal my ear, it'd be God that did it. They that are whole need not the physician, but they that are sick. Give God the credit, not the doctors. They get paid to do what they're doing. But God doesn't get nothing. He doesn't even get Thanksgiving once a year anymore. We gotta hurry up so we can have Black Friday. Who, God, redeemeth thy life from destruction? It is God that pulled my soul out of hell. If the Lord tarries and I die, I'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord by God. If the Lord comes during my time, it'll be by God. God redeemed me. God redeemed me with his blood. Acts 20, 28. With the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. Redeemed. That's a word not mentioned in church today. Redeemed by God. My life. He that has the Son has everlasting life. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy. God loves us to obey him. God's mercy. God's mercy. There is time that God will tell the devil, no, you leave him alone. There is times that God tells the devil, okay, but stop there. Who, God, satisfies thy mouth with good things? Got something good? It came from God. Oh, I earned it. You earned nothing. You wait till God takes those blessings away. You wait to the day when the Christians are gone. And in order to get the good things, you're going to have to receive that mark of the devil. No man might buy or sell unless he takes the mark. So that by you is renewed like eagles. Strength. Eagles have great strength. Eagles got great keen sight. Eagles got a great way of teaching their young how to fly. They throw them out of the nest. And, blah, 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 blah. and then he picks them up just before they hit. Eventually, those wings get so strong and so worked, they just they fly off. And that's when it's time for them to go. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Listen, let me tell you, as a street preacher, I am oppressed by the world. They don't like me. They, if they would, they would kill me. They would shut me up. They would lock me up. They put me in prison. They do whatever they can to shut me up. If they had the possibility, I had two women today. I told my daughter, I wish they banned him, and I'm happy to other people being arrested. One man fought me. That don't bother me because the Bible says marvel not at the world hate you. The Bible told me the broad is the way that leads to destruction many. God already told me. God already told me there'll be hecklers, there'll be scorners, there'll be fools, and there'll be simple. God already told me that. You know what gets me? Is the person that professes to be a Christian and in the church and they say, we don't want you no more style because you're too radical. You're, you're above and beyond. I'm the Bible. This is somebody, but we got kicked out of a church because I did not like the vacation Bible decoration. Oh, he thought of many stuff afterwards. A week, two weeks later. Oh, oh, oh yeah, this other stuff. No. You de me because I didn't like your decoration. I told you for another place, I'm leaving your church because you changed the King James Bible. I'm sorry, but I'm getting a mansion. Not whatever junk your Bible says. 
And that moment I heard, that I forget what his Bible said. Uh, no, no, that's it. We're gone. And he got mad at me. And I'm, well, you get mad at me. I'm, I'm giving you the truth. I'm giving you what the Bible said. I'm talking about pastors of churches. And I believe I'm right, and God will hate. God loves the feet of them that preach the gospel and stand for the word of God. Those that go against the word of God, those that go against what God said, he'll do with you. Words of a preacher I know. If I had known what Christians would have been like, I would have never gotten saved. I now know what that man meant. I tell you, the most rascal people in the world are Christians. And that's a poor testimony, but it's the truth. I know Christians who've done business with Christians and got they, they got slammed and they, and they got uh, deceit and they got frauded by a Christian business. Well-known preacher. He made known his ways unto Moses. His acts unto the children of Israel. And the entire book of Moses. Let's say Matthew. Uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. But I don't read them. I don't have time to read the Old Testament. It's fine. The Bible says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, and work that thee is not to be changed, rightly divided the word of truth. What if we did get to heaven? God sat us down in the death say, Okay, test time. I'm starting to believe that. I said it as a joke one day, but why would he tell us to study? And it's not going to be that, okay, people are going to come and people ask me questions of because there's many Christians who don't do nothing and their light bulb shows as much as a flashlight with dead batteries. So they're, they're not going to be asked questions. What have we got to glory and God sat us down? Okay, I got some questions for you. What if he calls up our Bible? What if heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away? And he resurrects or brings forth your personal Bible. The first time plastic would be in heaven. Sealed. All right, now show me in the Bible where Micah is. Where's the Micah? Uh, show me where Habakkuk is. God, I didn't know it's the back up here. Maybe. And not with hair stubble. But I assume they're going to get gold, silver, and precious stones. Many Christians won't get. Thanksgiving is what you have. You got that? You know what Christmas is for? Thanksgiving is for what you have. What's Christmas for? What you don't have. And what's January for? The bills that you owe. Thanksgiving is for what you have. Christmas is for what you don't have. New Year's after New Year's Eve, now the bills what you what you want. The Lord is merciful, thank God, and gracious, slow to anger. And when we're dealing with Moses, and we're dealing with the children of Israel, God wasn't soon anger. God wasn't soon quick to be angry. Israel would have been wiped out. One time, Moses said, God, no, because it will be a terrible testimony to Egypt and all the nations around. And God repented. Man has that soon to be angry. The Bible says be angry. And sin not. I had a guy today, a heckler and all that. I got angry. Some people will say, well, you sin. No, I didn't sin. 
One day I went up to the guy at the gospel track and I said, here's your parking ticket for not learning where to park your car. That's not mad. It's a true statement. I said, number two, you got to learn to, 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 to put a leech on your dog. And you get, you're a fat slob, a fat, I hate fat people. And then after that, he just kept on saying, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's anger without sinning. Anger me, he had his stupid, filthy music. That angers me all the time. I don't get angry enough where I don't sin, where, where I sin. I get angry when they had the DJ. I can go pull the plug, set the stuff on fire, and kick the guy in the face. That would be sinning. Plenty is in mercy. He, God, will not always chide, scold, or reprove. Neither will he keep his anger forever. There's coming a time in New Jerusalem, he won't be angry no more. There's a time he's going to be coming back angry on that white horse, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he's going to be angry at the goat nation. Then he's going to settle himself in Jerusalem, he's going to settle himself on David's throne, and there'll be no anger there for a while. And then he'll be angry at the great white throne judgment. And once the last soul goes through, he won't be angry anymore. He is not dwell with us after our sin. That, thank God. How would God deal with our sin? Cast us off into hell as soon as we die. April 21st, 1987, God saved me from my sin. If God would have dealt with me according to my sin, he would let me live a full life and then cast me off into hell. But he pardoned me on April 21st, 1987. Be not deceived, God's not marked whatsoever man sows that he shall also reap. God don't allow us to bring in all the crops. We bring in some, and he just chastised us, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. There would be no place allowed in heaven, the new heavens, the new earth, and new Jerusalem, if he were to reward us for our iniquities. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. For as the heavens is high above the earth, and they are, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. How great is that mercy? No space agency can go where God is. You can shoot your rockets off. You can have the new space millennia that they're talking about now. And you can launch your spacecraft every single day. But you ain't going to where God is. And you only reach the tip of the iceberg of God's great mercy. God's great mercy is he will allow us one day to go through that solar system further than any astronaut without oxygen tank to dwell with God. That we are the children of God through Jesus Christ. As far as the east is from the west, how far is that? Infinite. It's beyond measure. So far, even further than infinite, has he, God, removed our transgression from us. You can't measure if we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to cleanse us from our sins and, and uh, uh, forgives our sins and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. You can't measure it. Even to say, oh, the drop in the bottom of the ocean. That can be measured. They can measure now, measure the deepest part of the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. You know what the proper Bible saying is, as far as from the east and the, the west? That's biblical. He goes deep as the ocean. Well, they now know probably how much the ocean is. 
So I guess then our sins are not all forgiven. If the ocean can be measured. So far as east is from west. That is that is no measurement. The depths of the ocean can be measured. As far as east from the west, that can't be measured. Stay with the Bible. Jesus said in Matthew 12, I believe, every idle word shall man give an account. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. He's our father. We are his children. Father loves his children. God loves us. That's not so in this generation. There are many fatherless children who wouldn't have an idea who their father is and which of the men that their mothers have been with. That's a shame. There's plenty of Christian fathers who have been out there for over a month, two months, who have not taken the reins of their family and taught the Bible and had family Bible study since their church has been closed. Except their children have now become a bother to them. And we can't wait to send them back to school. That's a shame. That is not God the Father. And you'll stand before God one day. Mark my word. For he, God, knoweth our frame. He remembers that we are dust. Genesis 2. We're dust. Oh, I'm the greatest. I'm the best. Yay! You're dirt. We're a product of, mo of monkeys and we come from... No, God made you a dirt pile and he breathed into you and man became a living soul. Pride is a sin. As for man, his days are grass. That ain't much. As they flower the field. So he flourishes. Grass is only seasonal. We're only seasonal. We come up and then we die. For the wind passes over it, the grass, and it is gone. And the place thereof shall know it no more. What was the name of the blade of grass that grew in the front yard of your in your house last year? What color was that braid of glass grass? How long was that braid of glass? Come on, tell me. Who was the person that lived five houses down from your house? Who's died? Will parachute you into any graveyard, will land you right in the graveyard, and you look at the first tombstone you've seen. Who is that? We, we drove by a, a, a cemetery today, and just piles and piles of, a lot of people knew that person that was buried. I didn't know who he was, or she. When I die, if, if, if God is to tarry, if I were to die, people in Indonesia would be like, like some more fish? I gotta go make more baskets? Life will go on. Many people don't know who I am. Many people don't know who you are. And after 5, 10, 20 years, only a selected amount of people will remember who you are. We're the great, we're the wonderful, we're the best. You're a piece of dirt like grass. And you'd be lucky to have a cow come and eat you. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting 
to everlasting upon them that fear him. God's mercy is eternal. God's mercy began the day I was born. Even a lost sinner, I can go to my baby book and I can see places where the devil wanted me dead. And more important, the mercy of God, April 21st, when I received Jesus Christ as my Savior in 1987. And the mercy will go on for all eternity when I'm in New Jerusalem. And his righteousness unto children's children. We would say children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, great great grandchildren, great 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 grandchildren, great 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 grandchildren. To such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments, Old Testament, to do them. And we're talking about the nation of Israel. David writing mentioned Moses. That's not church. In the millennium, the Jews are still going to have the temple service and they're still going to have to obey the law. What about in the new earth? I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing about what John said in the book of Revelation. He saw the ark. He saw the golden incense altar. So I know. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heaven. And his kingdom rules over all. Where's God? He's in heaven. Where's his throne? It's in heaven. Bless the Lord. Again, if you didn't get it the first time. Ye his angel. Why is that going to be said? Because some angels are going to go after the devil. Angels and God make God happy. That excel in strength. Now who is that? Is that God or is that the angel? That could be both. The Old Testament that people don't, don't read. That one angel went into the army and destroyed much of the army with just one angel. That's strength. God said, let there be light. And there was light. That's strength. That do his commandment. There are angels that don't do God's commandment. Hearkening unto the voice of his word. There are angels that don't do it. And they'll go off with the devil into the lake of fire. Bless ye the Lord. I guess you didn't get it. That has to be read again. All ye hope. The angels. The cherubim. Four and twenty-four elders, the Christians, the saints, ye ministers of his. I'm a minister, a king, and a priest. I offer spiritual sacrifice. I'm not a king yet. If I get right to a reign, I'll be king then. God's pleasure, not your pleasure. Do God's pleasure. Too many Christians do their own pleasure. That doesn't satisfy God. When you do what God tells you to do. His pleasure is God. Bless ye the Lord. I guess you didn't get it because David keeps saying. From the first verse all the way to the last verse. 22. Bless ye the Lord. Make the Lord happy. Well, I want to be happy. I want to go to, to the rat land and, and have fun. And I want to go have play time. And I want to go ride the rides. And I want to go. What about God? I'll, I'll give him a little bit of Sunday. And God will be happy. Wood, hay, or stubble. We give God Christmas. Christmas is not the Bible. We give God Easter. Easter is not the Bible. 
We give God Thanksgiving. Hurry up and eat. Come on, I gotta do the dishes so I can go to Black Friday and buy a bunch of. Do you know what pleases God? Oh, I don't read the Bible. That pleases God. Read in the Bible. So you show thyself approved unto God. That pleases God. You don't read the Bible, you're not pleasing God. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Do you preach God? Well, you know, I'm a shy. I, I got, you're not pleasing God. We took our money. We went on a family trip to the Grand Canyon. Woo! A big hole in the ground made by a flood that God drowned out the entire world but eight people because they wouldn't do what he said to do. Well, we're, we're, we're going to the ark encounter where we can go see Noah's ark. Where does it say in the Bible for you to build an ark and go visit it? You built an entire ark by three dimensions. And you've got the whole Noah's ark. You got the whole Noah's ark in Tennessee. You got the whole Noah's ark in Tennessee. You're a fruitcake. That didn't please God. Especially it's been closed because of coronavirus. The ark survived the worldwide flood with Noah and his family. But the ark made by man couldn't survive coronavirus. Cash, check, or money order, please. I know someone very dearly that looked at that, studied that. It's, 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 it even had dinosaurs in the ark. Where'd you put all the poop? You know how big those dinosaurs and how much poop? They incubated them. That's not what the Bible said. Were dinosaurs clean or unclean? I mean, did he need seven of them or two? It says to do God's pleasure. Read your Bible. Study your Bible. Go out and tell people about Jesus. If they get saved, grow them in the Lord. Raise your family. If your wife has a question, let her come home and ask your, her, honey, I got a question about the Bible. Raise your children for the Lord to do right, to stand before God and get gold, silver, and precious stones. That pleases God. If it doesn't please God, wood, hay, or stubble, and the smoke detectors going off. Or you end up in the great white throne judgment, and God tells you, depart from me, work of iniquity. If it pleases God, well done. If it doesn't please God, and you're a Christian, what's that sound? Smoke detector. There will be smoking in heaven. Yes, there is. Your untruthful works that were not for God but for yourself, wood, hay, or stubble. Bless the Lord, in case you didn't get it again. All his works in all places of his dominion. Thank the God and make God happy for everything he has done, including coronavirus. God loves the world enough he sent a disease to say, hey, when you pay attention to me, well, that didn't work. Got to do something else. The water turning to blood, that didn't work. All right, send the flies. Well, that didn't work. Send the pestilence. Well, that didn't work. This is what's going to happen. Bless the Lord, in case you didn't get it. Oh, my soul. You know what David says? Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. My soul. David. Yes, David. You're talking to yourself. I know I'm talking to myself. What do you got for me to say? Bless the Lord. What about them? No, no. Let's us bless the Lord. Let's worry about ourselves. What do ourselves need to do, David? We need to bless the Lord. Got it. Many Christians don't bless the Lord. They'll suffer. 